So let's create a new component and I'm going to open up my terminal and for creating a new component let's write ngg component and name this component update product and press enter it's going to take some time it's going to create a new component uh, right under the app folder so before opening this update product component uh, let's first open up this and copy update product component and close it and open app module and create the route for it so path and this is going to be update product colon id because i need to send an id in order to update it okay so component colon and paste it all right so this is the new path that i have created so let's run our project ng serve okay project has been started now let's go to our home html and after the delete link i need to create an update link okay so let's copy it and paste it and i'm going to remove all this i'm going to change the text to update and within the td element uh, i'm going to create a router link within the square brackets equals to double quotes square brackets single quotes forward slash and the route name update product okay but it also need a parameter right here like this id so in order to send it the id we have the product dot id that is going to return us the id okay so let's save it and we can see that there is an update so let's add a td at the top just for styling purpose so that's it so update and delete if we click on update it should navigate to the update product and the id okay go back update and the four okay so our route is working fine so let's close it and close it as well and open up our update product ts file and html file so inside our html it needs to be same as add product the difference between these two will be that uh, if we click on add product it has an empty text boxes if we click on the update product these text boxes will be filled uh, with the data of a particular row okay so let's open up our project and i'm going to go to product html and copy the whole code and paste it remove it i don't want to go back with the backlink i want to show you a different way that how we can navigate to different routes directly from the typescript file up up till now i have just showing you that how to navigate to different links using the html but i don't want to do it with the update product just to explain you as much as i can so update product change the text update product and the form new product I, these are not being using you can also change it if you want so product data let it be as it is so let's change the function update product and the product data dot value is going to be like this so add product change the text of button update product remove it and one thing more i need to uh, fill this these two text boxes with a particular data so and i also want to uh, update the data whenever this is updated so i need to keep these ng model keyword right here but in order to bind the data let's add the square brackets and the bracket ng model bracket and the square bracket equals to data dot name okay so let's copy it and paste it 
data dot color this data is not being defined yet but that data is going to be defined within its TypeScript file and that is going to fetch the color and the name whenever we click on update link so let's click on the TypeScript file and inside the TypeScript file uh, we need to import uh, so many things that we already did so open up our TypeScript and import this one that is required okay and we also need to import the route because I as I said you that I want to change the routes directly from the TypeScript so I need actually activated route from single quotes at angular slash router and that route is going to be used for um, if we want to change the URL and uh, update see the changes of any product directly from changing the URL then we need to create two routes so activated route and we need to have a router from the same module all right and we also need to have let's open up our home TypeScript file copy it and paste it right here so these are the things that we need uh, to work inside this TypeScript file now let's create our function and the name of that function would be update product and inside the constructor let's paste it update product and it's going to receive a product okay so for writing it let's create an object let's add it with this thing ID number data object equals to object and products equals to array and product object object equals to object and the same as we did uh, that has to be a colon and we added the headers so open up the TypeScript file of home and create the header and paste that header right here and for the constructor we need to have a private router and the router comma private route activated route comma private HTTP HTTP okay so save it so before writing anything in our update product function uh, we need to write something inside this function okay so the reason is that let me show you the HTML reload if I click on update it has shown me update product name color I want to show the opened name color of an open product okay so this update product function is going to be called whenever that update button is going to be clicked but before that I want to show a particular data in these text boxes okay so for that I need to detect the view has been initialized and get the data from my URL okay that is the one so I need to get the product that has an ID one and fetch the data of that particular ID so inside on in it let's add this dot route dot params dot subscribe and I need to get the param from the URL so params and this dot ID equals to plus params ID okay and this plus is going to be parse this ID into integer right now it is a string 
so it's going to parse it inside this id it's going to store the id in our id and this is the id okay so after that uh, we need to fetch the product data name and color of that particular product so get the data of products so this dot http rather than writing it let's open up our home and this just copy this code from the fetch data and paste it right here after that inside it let's add a loop var equals to zero i is less than this dot products dot length and i plus plus and inside it i'm going to pass it and this dot products i dot id equals to this dot id i'm going to detect that which product has the same id as this id okay so when i will there is an error let's add the two brackets so whenever i'll find a particular product uh, i need to get this data equals to this dot products i surely let's add the bracket right here and remove it from here so let's add break statement right here as well and run our project again let's back and reload it again and update and you can see t-shirt and red go back to trouser and yellow so we have updated the data in our html text boxes this data is bind with this data dot name and data dot color okay so i have written the break so now if i click on the update button it should uh, find that particular product that needs to be updated okay so for that uh, let's go up to update product and inside it let's add this dot product object equals to object name colon product dot name color colon product dot color okay so let's go to home dot component dot ts and copy this line the url okay so rather than writing id directly i need to get this id so this dot id okay so let's save it make sure there is no error compiled successfully so now we need to call a put request so this dot put this dot http dot put url json dot stringify this dot product dot object and we need to call the headers this dot headers okay dot to promise dot then this dot router dot navigate to home page okay this is going to move our uh, route towards our home page so let's save it compile successfully let's reload it i'm going to update let's say i want to change the color of this code from red to blue so let's update our code and blue and it's going to update and you can see the color of this code has been updated to blue okay so let's change anything else update and let's change it t-shirts update and it has been updated to t-shirts okay so if i click on update if i directly change the url from here let's say from one to three whether it's update these text boxes or not so let's enter as you can see that it hasn't updated 
uh, right here because let's go back we don't have any product that has an id 3 so navigate to first product and change the url to 4 so change it to 4 press enter and you can see that these are updated with the 4 and this is because we wrote our code in our own init and it's going to identify the id from the url it's going to load the data in our uh, input text boxes okay so let's say i want to add an id let's say three it hasn't shown anything i need to show a message that this product doesn't exist okay so in order to show this message let's go to top and let's create a variable exist equals to false okay so let's come down and initialize it this dot exist equals to true if the product exists then this will become true otherwise it will remain false and this exist and this exist now let's go back to our html and under this let's add a p tag ng if equals to not exist product doesn't exist this message is only going to be shown when this exist is going to be false so after that we also need to write an else condition this dot exist equals to the false okay so let's save it make sure if, if it doesn't work you need to reload and uh, run our project again so go reload it to exist so there is no message let's add a three this project doesn't exist so product doesn't exist let's add four no message because product exists so let's add mike blue ball mike update so blue ball mike that has been updated and we can have a delete functionality we have the add product functionality we have the validations we are getting the data directly from it so that's it for this tutorial i hope that you have liked it it has become a pretty long tutorial uh, but these are the basic concepts that everyone needs to learn and that these are the core concepts of angular 4 that http request if you have any questions or any confusion you can comment below and i will answer your questions and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos on new technologies thanks for watching